So Garrett Widner. Hi, Jonathan. What is the symbolism of a maiden in a tower who escapes using hair? This is Rapunzel, of course, but I also, uh, what I also just came across it in Token Similarian, where Luthien is imprisoned in a tall tree, enchants her hair to grow, weaves it into a cloak to mask her beauty so she isn't recognized, and then weaves the rest into a rope to escape. I don't understand it at all. What is the connection between hair and escape from a high place? What is the meaning of a place that is also a prison being high? And so, all right. So I think I've explained this before. I have a, I have a, I have a video called the symbolism of hair. Uh, and I think that you could probably watch that and understand, but I can explain it. Uh, it has to do with extensions. It has to do with the extensions uh, that we just talked about. So think of hair as an extension of you, right? That is both your glory, but also your uh, dead covering, okay? So it's both at the same time. And so the woman up in the, the, the tower is the feminine aspect of that which is in of the ideal, right? The feminine aspect of the ideal, just like just like close to the notion of the mother of God, you could say, or close to the notion of Beatrice in Dante, you know, this, the, and it's that which, it's the veil and the unveiling, right? It's the, it's the veil on the holy place. It's the veiling and unveiling of the, of the secret place where the seed is hidden, where the, the union of heaven and earth happens. And so, in the story of Rapunzel, you see, and, and in the version you told me, it's, it's exactly the same. And so in the story of Rapunzel, the hair, which is like the glory of the, this or the manifestation of this down into the world, is a way to climb up in order to reach in this mystery. And so all the forms in the world, right, the rituals, the, the, the icons, the, the, all of these are like a ladder. They're not, the things in themselves are not are not the absolute good, but they're like little steps. And so as you encounter the scriptures, you know, you, you read these verses, you encounter the icons, you, you, you have all these forms, these songs, this, this, all these things that extend out of the secret place where the logos is hidden. Um, and so it's a ladder. So you climb it, right? You, you, if you, how can I say this? It's like, if there's recognition, between you and that, if there's memory and recognition, then the, the the steps are steps. Then all these forms, all of these things that manifest become steps. But if you are seduced by the hair itself, if the hair becomes an obstacle, the hair can become an obstacle of you seeing what is behind if you're, if you're not properly oriented. So in the version of Rapunzel, what, ha what makes the prince blind, what makes him now in incapable of knowledge is that he fails to recognize that the hair has been cut off, that the hair has been, has been cut off and that it is now a false ladder towards a wicked principle. So it's idols, basically. So it's become idols. All these steps, because he's incapable of recognizing the highest thing, have all become idols. And so as he climbs them, he falls and he is, and he is, uh, and he is blinded. So it's just the story of Adam and Eve in the garden, guys. It's the same story. It's understanding that, think of it this way, that God was going to give Adam and Eve the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. But in order for them to get it, they had to recognize that it came from God. They had to recognize and stay in their connection to that which, out of which this fruit was coming. But as soon as they see the fruit as good in itself, as appeasing to the senses in themselves, and they, they cease to remember the origin of it, then when they eat it, when they grab onto that hair and start climbing, they fall into the thorns, just like the prince falls into the thorns. And they become blind. It's just the story of Adam and Eve, guys. Um, and so it has to do with the garments of skin. All of this has to do with the garments of skin. So the garments of skin, they are layers of the glory of God. 
right? Just like the garments of skin on the temple. So the hair, hairy garments and the different separators on the temple are actually steps in a ladder moving into the Holy of Holies. But they're also separators. They also make you further from the glory of God. And if you're not careful and you idolize the garments, if you idolize technology, the, anything that is an exterior form, then you increase the fall. And what you end up doing is you end up wanting to add more, more layers. And so in the story of Rapunzel, how is he healed? He's healed, the prince, he's healed because he recognizes her voice again. He hears her voice. And in his blindness, he recognizes her. And so as he recognizes her, the water from paradise, the rivers of paradise, come down onto the prince and heal him from his blindness. Yeah, that's what it is. It's just the story of Adam and Eve. Hopefully this makes sense.